now. Well, hopefully things went smoothly for you and your family today as kids return to the classroom. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Before and after school, several teachers held rallies in front of schools calling for an increase in pay. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagaro joins us after talking to the superintendent who was just named the Nevada Superintendent of the Year. Joshua? Yes, hello, Brian, Denise. Dr. Asus Jara stresses he's focused on student achievement and teacher compensation. This comes amid pressure from the teachers union to raise salaries. Unfortunately, we weren't able to negotiate a, retention, um, a recruitment bonus this year. Last year we did, and we, lo we lost 150 educators that, that were hoping that that would happen again. So, you know, that all happens at the bargaining table. The district and the Clark County Education Association are locked into a tough contract battle. TCEA leaders say low teacher pay is leading to a high number of vacancies. They're angry that, you know, our, our colleagues are leaving. They're not leaving because they're not getting one-time bonuses, as Dr. Jara is alluding to. Our educators are fed up with one-time bonuses. They want something that's on their base. Jara says they currently have more than 1,100 openings, fewer than the previous school year. Teachers are scheduling rallies this week in front of schools. This one happened at Lead STEM Academy near Tropical in Decatur. Jara says he won't infringe on teachers' rights to protest. Bargaining and the negotiations don't happen in the picket line. They happen at the bargaining table, and I welcome the leadership of CCA to get to the bargaining table so we can get this job done so our teachers can get compensated as they deserve. Some of the demands from CCEA are a 10% increase in teacher pay the first year and 8% the following year. This past legislative session, lawmakers invested $2 billion more dollars into public education. This is the most CCSD has ever, ever received, and from the get-go, even though they, they could see it coming, the amount of money they were going to get, they were already crying poverty. Now, Superintendent Jara declined to get into the specifics on the raise that he's proposing for teachers behind closed doors, saying he won't negotiate in public. CCEA and CCSD are scheduled to meet next Thursday for contract negotiations.